Hi, my name is Dennis Stan. I'm a uh, senior in the Academy of Information Technology at Red Bank Regional, and this is my final project. Um, so, the essence of it is basically a mobile CPU monitoring app, you know, one where a, a local server runs on a machine, and then you could view the information that local server is gathering through a web page hosted on a web server. So, as you can see, I have a little Apache web server at 10.00.28. And the reason why I wanted to create this is because I hated logging into ESXi, which is uh, VMware's way of monitoring uh, server resource usage and having to log in using all my credentials and having to wait for it to load up and potentially clicking on something I wasn't supposed to click on. It was just a very big headache and I wanted something quickly and easily that I could just simply access on a local network. Uh, the target users would be, you know, the users kind of like myself, as I was just describing, people who have servers or multiple computers running on networks that they need to monitor the CPU usage of or resource usage of as a whole. And um, here, I'll give a demo right now. It's very simple. So in order to start it, you actually go into the uh, directory or the folder as uh, that's in the GitHub, which, which has the uh, link provided, I believe. And personally, I use something called PM2 to start my node applications, although this can be started using Node.js on its own. However, I prefer not to use that. Oh, I have to do PM2 start JS. Yep, there you go. It's online. After you type in PM2, you have to supply a command, uh, which is usually start, stop, or mon, which is for monitor. So I started the server right now. It's using 0% CPU. And if I wanted to actually see, what this is, I am not doing my commands correctly, but that's okay. So as you can see, we're monitoring our WebSSH server. Nothing's happening right now because we're not connected to it, but let's do that right now. So we're just gonna type start mon on this HTML page. Yep, all right. And we're getting my current CPU usage because this, uh, this node uh, JavaScript web server is running on my computer. This is my current CPU usage. So it just keeps going and going and going until I eventually stop it. And you could stop it by doing um, the refresh on here, or you could stop the server by doing pm2 stop websh.js. Yep, there we go. So I had a lot of struggles with this, and while it may seem like a pretty simple application, uh, it took a lot, you know, having to spawn a pseudo terminal and then beam that information to a front end HTML website and then having to use sockets, which is pretty complicated on its own to beam the data from the server to the website. That was incredibly complicated. Um, there was a lot of problems with authentication via web browsers. The uh, rules and regulations for socket usage on web browsers is very strict and rightly so, it presents a big security risk, but it, I had to do a lot of things to kind of go around it, even so far as installing an extension just to make sure that the cores, which is the policy that stops me from connecting to sockets, um, can actually connect to it. And while I don't believe it does much, it's still an insurance policy and it's still sometimes necessary. Um, so some additional features I would like to add to this app that either didn't have time to, or there was just inherent limitations in the way I program this, is memory usage monitor and maybe a graph. However, um, rendering things through using a server and a socket to a web page uh, was a lot. Anything other than simple text and one line of text repeating was extremely complicated to the point where you'd just be seeing garble on your screen and it would all be taken up by mysterious characters. It just wasn't worth it and it and honestly finding the problem behind it would require me taking a completely different approach to how I display data which honestly at the point of the project where I was at it just wasn't worth it. So this is my simple project. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good one.